Hey everyone, this is Rachel, and today I'm here with a new scrapbooking process video. Thanks so much for joining me here, and I hope you enjoy. If you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome, and I would love it if you would become a subscriber. You can also click on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video up. All right, folks, let's get going. Hey everyone, and welcome to my April 2020 kit share for the For the Love of Homemade Kits group. Now, uh, this group has kind of petered out a little bit uh, with everything that's going on in the world. Uh, a lot of the ladies who were doing this have school-age children and their time focus has shifted. So I'm going to continue to truck on. I broke my freeze with all the stress going on but I'm still trying to not only work with new stuff that's coming into my stash, but also still working through my homemade kits and continuing to make them. That was Ms. Xanthi joining us. Hello, sweetie. Um, <laughs> Christina did make up a kit for April. I'm just not sure who is still following along. I am, however, going to hopefully go ahead and do it. And so let's share what I'm doing for the kit. Uh, so the first thing in the paper, and when, for me, what I normally go off of is choosing some sort of paper that has a lot of colors in it so I can um, have kind of a palette to choose from. The first thing is a pattern paper that has been in your stash for a long time. So I have this piece of paper. It's actually from a paper pad. I don't own a lot of paper pads. But this is from the Dear Lizzie documentary paper pad. And so what I thought is, as I did back in February, um, in February I did a kit made up of all Paige Evans items. This time around I thought I would do a kit made out of mostly Dear Lizzie items. So I'm starting with this paper. I'm a big fan of ampersands, so I thought that would work quite well for me. Then it has a monochromatic paper. I chose two, one again from the documentary, documentary paper pad, and that is this uh, cream on yellow. I figured that kind of red as monochromatic. And then I also chose from the paper pad, brand new day, new day, bright new day, hang on. It's all good. Wrong Dear Lizzie line. It's all good. And it's got a tone on tone, triangular or diamond pattern, depending how you call it. And then the next one is a diagonal stripe paper. And also from the It's All Good collection uh, paper pad, I pulled this one. So... Obviously, some of them have more white, some of them have more cream, but that's okay. And then the last one for 12 by 12 paper is a pattern paper with green in it. And so I chose this one. This is actually from the Saturday collection. It is double-sided. It does not, um, as it's uh, regular paper, not from a paper pad. And then the final thing in the paper, and the reason I didn't choose any more 12 by 12 paper is uh, the last thing is a six by six or a six by eight paper pad. So here is one thing that's not from the Dear Lizzie collection. And so my paper pad is Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine. I thought all the colors matched really well. There are more um, yellows and oranges in this collection than is in any of the Dear Lizzie stuff, but I thought it would still work out. I have a decent amount of paper in here, so I was good to go with that. All right, so that is my paper. Now for mixed media, uh, there are watercolors and modeling or texture paste. So I pulled out my Vicky Boot Booten molding paste because that's the exact same thing. I do enjoy the consistency of Vicki Booten's paste, um, her paste, her, um, oh sugar, what are they called? Um, her glaze, like her glaze. There's one that's in rose gold, she's iridescent gold and silver, um, but I like the consistency of them. 
And then the other thing are watercolors. And I chose these um, Creamies and Inklings from Shimmers Paints. And so if I turn them over and you can see the colors, um, they're a mix of blues and greens and pinks that co go uh, coordinate, that's the word I'm looking for, coordinate well with my um, papers that I chose. Uh, on then, we'll, on then, <laughs> all right, and then we will move on to embellishments. Now it says washi tape. I did pull this one here. It's a rose gold um, bark pattern and I love it and I almost never use it. Um, basically because I almost never actually use washi tape. I do, however, like to use washi strips. So I did pull in these washi strips from Pink Paisley by Paige Evans from her Turn the Page collection. I thought once again the colors worked well together. Not all of them, but the majority of them. And then we have labels. If you saw my recent haul video, you know that, or you may remember that I purchased a bunch of die cuts from Ellie's studio. So what I did was I just went in and pulled out some of the labels that once again, go with the same colors that I have in my papers. The next thing is stars. So I pulled in two different types of stars. I pulled in some star stickers and some star wood veneer. And I may go back and pull in a third type of star, but I'm just not 100% sure. So for right now, we're just going to leave it as is. And then the next thing is an older embellishment die cut pack. So what I did, I store my non-collection so basically anything where it's just a random one that either I've used up the rest of the collection or it's like an Ellie studio where it's not really themed, it's just basic die cuts. I then put them in little envelopes by color. So I just went and pulled out my yellows, my pinks, and my aqua teals. I think those colors are going to fit well. I could have pulled green in as well. I may still do that, I'm not 100% sure. Once again, your kits can change. Um, one thing, and I heard this on a video once a long time ago, and that was if you're working from a kit and you go and add something to that kit, just keep that with the kit because most likely, if it went with the layout you're making currently, it's probably going to go with the rest of the layouts you're making with that kit. So I keep meaning, I kept meaning to pass that little tip along and finally actually remembered to. All right, next is foliage and leaves or vines. I don't have a lot of that, but I do have these little leaf wood veneers and I like that they go with the star wood veneers and um, hopefully with some of the layouts I plan to make. And then the last thing was a mixed media material. I don't have a lot of that, but what I do have uh, is this tissue paper with gold shapes on them. Some are diamonds, some are parallelograms, some are rectangles and stuff like that. So I thought that would be good to add. Finally, we have the alphabets. So the first set uh, the first choice is a metallic set of thickers or alphabets of some kind. So I pulled out my Pink Paisley mini thickers. I have them in rose gold and regular gold. The other colors are in here as well, simply because I don't feel like taking them apart because then I'll end up, you know, losing a pack. So I'll just keep all of those together. And then the other thing that is in here is an alphabet that has been in your stash over a year. So I picked quite a few here. One, because I have these jelly bean soup bean board alphas. I have, what color is Tart teal and then something about gray. This is a gray color. I don't have a ton of the gray left. Um, I know it looks like I do, but these are both upper and lower case. So you can see the difference between a completely full pack and then a pack I've used several times. Um, but I thought those might work. 
And then I also pulled in these uh, mini flat alphas from the Snap Company or Snap by Symbol Stories. The reason being is A, I have a ton of them and quite a few of them I've never used. And B, I just bought all of their brand new ones that came out with their Color Vibe um, collection. And so like, I literally just bought a ton of new ones and I've barely used the older ones. So I thought that would work out well. Now, simply because I wanted to, I decided to add the sticker sheet and the thicker sheet from the It's All Good collection. I have quite a bit of both of them left. Um, I have a half of the paper pad. I gave the other half away. Um, so that's all I have plus this for embellishments. So I wanted to make sure I was using them as well. So that is my April 2020 kit. Once again, um, I think there's going to be a playlist put together for it. If there is, I will put it in the description box below so you can check out anyone else who is still making these homemade kits and working the, their way through them during the month of April. I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope everyone is staying safe and not going crazy. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.